Hello, everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George. I play video games, and every Friday, it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, we are taking a look at Starstruck Prologue. This game uh, is actually... The, the full title was uh, Starstruck Hands of Time, I believe. And the game is not out yet, but the developers have released... Uh, it, it's not technically early access. They've just released, like, the first hour or two of the game as prologue, as its own thing. And as far as I know, I believe Starstruck Prologue is currently free on Steam. So if you're interested in, in trying this out, you can, because they've made the prologue available for free. So if you want to try this out, you're, you're more than welcome to. And then at some point in the future, Hands of Time will be out. Uh, so we're going to jump into a new game. I'm playing this uh, on PC with the Xbox controller. We'll find out what this is all about. Um, this is a game that has been of interest to me for a little bit because I was sent some information about this a long time ago, like some dev information, and it looked immediately fascinating. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes. This is already fantastic. When I saw some, some information, some screenshots and visuals and stuff about this, it gave me some Earthbound vibes. And then it was later that I discovered that the game actually has some Starman.net alumni on the dev crew. And I was like, everything adds up. Everything adds up. So if, you're getting, if you get some vibes like that, that might be why. Username. I, okay, uh, sure, you can... Um, how about... No. <laughs> Okay, I'll just use controller. I have a, I have a keyboard in front of me, but I'm like, yeah, whatever. Just call me. Oh, is there going to be enough room? Wait, hold on. Is there? Oh, there's seven characters. Oh, that's great. As a kid, there were so many times where games had like five or six. So the fact that I can actually put my name in is pretty nice. That's my name. Okay. Is this correct? Yeah. I'm using Xbox One. <laughs> uh, that's probably me. I'm a little pasty. I've got... I got pretty thin hands. Hmm. I like how this is an important part of the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good. I like that. Are you sure this is your hand? Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's him, officer. 99%. <laughs> identity confirmed. Aw, I love you too. Rock on. Hey, Captain. Captain Steven. It's me, Hadley, at your service. I have something I want to show you. Look, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? The Earth of 20XDX. How are you, by the way? I've been worrying about you the whole trip. Oh, I'm detecting so many life signs from the surface. The Earth of this era is just bursting with life. That means it's still possible for us to save our future. Yes. Let's begin our mission, then, shall we? Our mission, save the Earth of our future by changing history here in 20XDX. Now, our historical records are about Earth's destruction uh, are incomplete, but it seems that something called the Mold was the cause. What do you think that means? Also, there's one individual living in this time, known in our future as Subject A11, who played a vital role. This Subject A11, I wonder if they will help us in our mission. Or perhaps they're the one we need to stop. It's important that we begin monitoring Subject A11 immediately. I've installed a program called Neighborhood.exe, which will allow us to do just that. You can select Neighborhood.exe from the desktop whenever you're ready, Captain. Okay. So we've got all of our options here. What shall we talk about? Let's talk about you, Hadley. Me? <laughs> nice face. You want to talk about me? Well, there's 
Not much to say. You've known me my whole life, Captain. Remember our first space flight? I was still struggling with motor control, and we almost crashed into the dome. That certainly was fun, wasn't it, Captain? LOL. Hmm? You're not laughing for some reason. Want to talk some more? What other memories do we have? There's a lot of lore building right here at the beginning. Do you remember when we first met? Yes, it was right when I was activated. Oh, to be young again. My youth was wonderful, except for the bugs, of course. The most embarrassing bug was the one in my early speech systems. You know, the one that made me address you and other crew members as my moms and dads. Yes, that was a bug. Seriously, you humans are the worst at programming. Yeah, tell me about the Earth. This is your first time seeing Earth at this distance, isn't it, Captain? It's so cute compared to the Earth of our future. But actually, this still isn't what Earth is supposed to look like, is it? Yes, it seems that the world has already started to end, even here. Let's do our best and save the Earth together. It seems we've run out of things to talk about. That's fine. I'm just glad we got a chance to chat. Also, I like... I like how I'm... I'm I have my little hand... <laughs> I I moved the stick with my thumb and forefinger. Like like a like a forty five year old person that's been introduced to a joystick for the first time. Neighborhood.exe I guess we'll click this thing. The music's also been very good and very calming. Edwin! Oh man. I thought this was a cutscene. I can control this. Uh, <laughs> Finally, you picked you up! Edwin, it's me! Your best friend, Zach! I'm waiting outside! Okay, I'll be right out. I still can't believe Dawn is letting us open for her band tonight. It's unbelievable, man. Even considering she's probably just doing this to be nice, it's still extremely flattering. Don's like your idol, right? So I know tonight is really important to you. Focus trade blast. Yes, tonight's gonna be our big night, I just know it! I'll grab my guitar and meet you outside. Oh, this is really cute. And yeah, okay. I was, I was like, Earthbound vibes? Yeah, Earthbound vibes. I know it sounds stupid, but I want to be just like Dawn. No time for a nap, I gotta go and make my big debut. One day, I'll be the one they play on the radio. Edwin took his guitar. God, this is great. What's under here? Honey, have you seen Edwin? He seems to have disappeared, dear. Oh, too bad. I wanted to give our little adopted son a big kiss. Adopted? Yes, yes, I love our boy so much, even though he wets the bed sometimes, despite being a teenager. It is a bit unusual, isn't it? I was just telling Don about it the other day. Huh? Even so, I still love our son, quirks and all. His strengths more than make up for it all. For instance, he's good at hiding behind the stairs and eavesdropping on us. Alright, I've had enough. <laughs> all parents should have a good sense of humor. Oh, Edwin, my wonderful son. Tonight is your big concert, is it not? Your mother and I are proud of you. Edwin, I do wish you would let us come and watch you rock out. But I know you said that we'd embarrass you. I'll just have to wait until you're on the TV one day. <laughs> I see that uh, being, being behind mom and dad on the couch has been a, a recurring theme in Edwin's life. All right. I like the setup of the house. It doesn't seem structurally sound. Doing here. Pokey? <laughs> Yo, there you are! Your parents don't mind you going out late tonight, huh? I, on the other hand, had to sneak out through my window. Am I a rebel or what? Zack! Dawn and her band are playing inside the steam plant tonight, right? Steam plant 12. Apart from being quarantined and illegal to enter, it's the perfect concert venue. Everyone's waiting for us, so let's head over there to play our opening set. This is real cute. I can touch that. Zach, dude, what's up? How's it going? Oh, hi, Edwin. Didn't see you there. 
So let's see. Any of these buttons do anything? Uh, it looks like none of the buttons do anything except for left trigger gets my guitar out. And A strums. This will all probably make more sense soon, but it's just wild that that's like part of the game. I don't believe I can move any faster. Just kind of just wander around because I like the uh, I like the look of the neighborhood here. That's a nice guitar you got, but you're heading to Don's concert, right? Why are you bringing a guitar there? You're not in her band. Hey, Edwin, heading to see Don and her band play tonight? Man, Don's the coolest, cutest, chillest girl in town, ain't she? From what I remember, at least. You see, my girlfriend doesn't let me go watch Don's concerts anymore. Guess we can't... Oh, we can knock. Good evening. To be honest, I wasn't going to answer the door at first. But then I thought, if I don't go to the door, maybe whoever's knocking will become discouraged from knocking on doors. It's important to talk to your neighbors. Sometimes if you talk to someone twice, they might even say something different. It's a tradition in this town. <laughs> yes. Yes, just like that. You've got the hang of it. It's a trash can. I'm not digging around in it. I know a boy who would. <laughs> Checking trash cans seems like a pointless thing to do. Little did Edwin know, something good would happen if he and his friends checked every trash can. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do that to me, game. Don't make me check all the trash cans. Just a trash can. I cannot imagine that something good will happen. A rock concert? Do I look like the kind of guy who's into that? Just being friendly. Let's check out this poor the John. Life can be stressful. Sometimes it feels good to just let go, know what I mean? I mean, y yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sounds right. Bob's Lake. Why- Why is it Bob's Lake? I guess Bob... Bob lived here at some point. Some of you are like, are you going back to the trash cans? Yeah. You can't tell me something good will happen if I check all the trash cans. You can't do that, because I'll do it. What's this person do? It's locked. But this is super cute. This is, in a, while not like exactly, this is this is kind of how I've imagined like a, a remake of Earthbound would go at, like one day. Have you seen my golden guitar, Edwin? With my golden guitar's beauty and my golden personality, I'll surely rule the, rule the gold. But I lost my golden guitar right after spending all my gold on it. Instead of going gold, I've gone broke. That's a sad story, Betty. It's closed. Well, that's unfortunate. Open up. <laughs> this is the police! Is that you, Edwin? It's me, Nose Pickin' Pete. Yes, I do hate that nickname, but I'm stuck with it at this point. Oh, you want me to open the door for you? Sorry, I can't right now. My hands are, uh, busy! God, remember... remember phone booths? Hello? Hello, hello, who is this? For heaven's sake, who could you be calling our home so late at night? Well, I don't know who you are, but do you mind if I get something off my chest? It's about my son, Edwin. He's always had trouble making friends. I've been worried about him for a while. But lately, he's been practicing the guitar again, and he made friends with a boy who plays guitar, too. The happiest thing a mother can see is her son's smile. But be sure to smile for your mother sometime, whoever you are. Oh, my television show is coming back on. Good night. <laughs> I like Edwin's parents. Hey man, we, shouldn't we head to the concert? I respect your rebellious spirit and all, but Don's waiting for us. Besides, being a rebel is supposed to be my thing. I <laughs> like how the police station is just a cardboard box. <laughs> I mean, this is... This is essentially... 
it's not like not exactly a demo, but you know, similar to a demo. So I can see that they're it's not going to show you everything in the game. That's just very funny to me. Oh, you drunk. Or not. I can't talk to you. You remind me of Chulip. Did I touch all of these? I touched all of these. I'm dead set on touching all them trash cans, man. Oh, you're a watermelon. Dear God. Wow, this artifact. Green stripes, refreshing smell. For some reason, it reminds me of summer. That's interesting. Not sure why that's here. Dedicated to the memory of Rodolph Johannes Oswald the Sixth. May his music live on for eternity. Interact with the benches? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Okay, Zach. It's like a little diorama, man. I want to see everything. You can't stop me. I mean, you can and you have. Looks like the mail wasn't picked up today. Did I look in the box? That's a bowling ball. That's fine. <laughs> Ow, if it isn't that wimp, Edwin, and his slightly less losery friend, Zack. So check this out. I've appointed myself as the unofficial bouncer of Don's concert. And seeing as how I'm the bouncer, I can't let any uncool people through this gate. Unfortunately, that means you. Sorry, Edwin, just doing my job. <laughs> Hmm. Hi, Captain. You see how you just pause the screen by pressing... <laughs> pause? Pressing pause like you just did lets you regain control of the ship. This is something very important to remember. You can press pause whenever you want to regain control of the ship. Anyway, it seems Subject A11 is a boy named Edwin. To think a little boy like him is somehow involved in what will happen to this world. Either way, he's supposed to play the concert in there, isn't he? But the way in is blocked... What do you think would happen if Edwin, or, uh, I mean, Subject A11, was able to get into the concert? What kind of music do you think he and his friend would play there? Hehe. <laughs> well, how about we find out? I just received a message from our future with an update to my program attached. Don't know what it'll do, but our friends from our future said it'd help us out. Maybe you'll try it with me? If you hit exit from here, you can return to the desktop. From the desktop, you can select neighborhood.exe and you'll see a new option there. Okay, so we exit, and then we revisit the neighborhood. Hand! Okay, let's become a giant hand. <laughs> Put your hand inside the puppet head. Level one, hammer the nails. What? What? This is happening. Captain, what's going on? Is your hand okay? Can you move it? Also, I seem to be a clock now? Yeah, I can move it. Oh no! Captain, you just stepped on something. Interfering in the past, no matter how minutely, always alters the future. I can't even begin to calculate what butterfly effects this will have. I'm afraid this is game over, Captain. I'm shutting down. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Come to think of it. Wasn't altering the past the purpose of our mission in the first place? Sorry, Captain, I forgot. Uh, yes, demolishing the world of the past may, in fact, prove useful to us. Remember that fence blocking Subject A11's path? If you break a gap in that fence, Subject A11 may be able to enter. It seems that when you cause destruction, your score will increase, too. A helpful tool might appear if you get your score high enough. I can only sustain your presence here until three, Captain. After three, your hand will have to return to the ship. Basically, just try to find all the objects in town and mess them all up. And see if you can open up a path in that fence for Subject A11. So, you've got, like, equal parts Earthbound and some of the absurdity of Chulip and then also Calamari Domacy. <laughs> Seems good. 
Seems like a good mix. I'll fix up the whole town except the fence after you're done. So no need to hold back. Go wild. Destroy 16% before 3 o'clock. And there's no other... There's no other buttons, as far as I know. I think it's just a matter of, like, walk into stuff. What was that stripey thing? Also, the music continues to be real good. Always wear your seatbelts, kids! This is ridiculous. Juicy! Oh my god. Yeah, some of these trees. Destroy 16%, then use the hammer and get to hit those nails. Okay, so I'm close. Let me go back over here to the house. Only half the time remaining. There we go. Look! It's one of our friends from our future! But I don't understand. How is this possible? Could it be that your rampant destruction weakened the time barrier? Well, only just enough for them to drop off that hammer for us. Captain, I recommend making use of that hammer immediately. Yeah, I'm running out of time here. Press A to swing the hammer. Okay, so let's open up this this fence here. Nice! <laughs> Amazing. With those nails hammered, A11 should be able to proceed now. Let's skip ahead in time using neighborhood dia e dot exe and see what A11 does. I love it. Hadley, you got anything new? Captain, Subject A11 sure is not what I was expecting. I mean, if I can speak freely, Captain, I'd assumed A11 would be a famous historical figure or something. You know, like the first human on the moon, Edwin Buzz Aldrin. If it wasn't for that Edwin, our moon colony wouldn't even exist. Well, I guess technically right now it doesn't exist yet. Hey, in this time period, that would make you the first human born on the moon, wouldn't it? That's so cool, Captain. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into Edwin. All right, let's see what happens now that uh, we can get through. We just walk right in, baby. Can't stop us, bully. We're in. We are inside. I can talk to some of these people. Hey, man, don't you think I kind of look like Dawn? Dawn's so talented. When she's famous, she'll have her pick of boyfriends. I'm jealous. Can we, can we rush the stage? Or are we just supposed to probably go up to the middle of the stage? Well, you say something, too. Yeah! You rock, Dawn! You're the best! Oh, the concert hasn't started yet? Sorry, I can't sing a, see a thing from here. Sharp. Edwin, Zach, where have you guys been? I've been waiting on you two. Come on upstage around the side. Edwin's always wanted to play in a band since we were little kids. Hope this goes okay for him. Dawn! Alright, hey everyone, thanks for coming to the show. Before we play, I wanted to give some stage time to another local band. They're electronic, they're acoustic, they're doing their own thing. Give it up for... Hey, Edwin, what's your band's name? Oh, we uh didn't didn't think of one? We were too busy practicing. Well, think of one now. Whatever comes to mind is fine. Just don't make it too similar to my band's name. Two dreams till sleep. <laughs> 
three dreams to sleep. Um, is that seriously what you're going with? Well, if that's really what you want, Edwin. All right, everyone, give it up for three dreams till sleep. Wow, you you seriously announced that, Captain? I have a fun idea. Let's play along with Subject A11 song. Challenge level normal mode. Recommended for having fun. Recommended for more of a challenge. Okay, well I've never played this ever, so let's start with normal. Use normal controls or a guitar control. What? That's that is really cool. That's really cool. You can plug in a Guitar Hero controller and play this on a Guitar Hero controller. What year is it? That's amazing. Anyway, let's use the Xbox One controller. How to play. Teach me. Okay, yeah. Play when the cursor lines up. Hold it for long notes. It's a rhythm game. Hold up or... Uh, okay. So you, uh, all right. Interesting. To adjust latency and sound effects, use the options menu. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get out the guitar here and give this a shot. Alright, Pokey Minch. Rank A. The fact that there's parts of the game where <laughs> the game's like, well, plug in your Guitar Hero controller from 2006 is, um, I don't know, really exciting to me. <laughs> I'm like, that's that's a good game. That's a good game. More games should ask you to do that. Like, you're in the middle of Dark Souls. And it says, well, pl plug it in. That was... Um, in interesting. Isn't this kind of music a bit outdated? We all need this weird opening act. Just get Dawn and her band back on stage already. Man, tough crowd. Alright, Edwin, let's just stay cool. We don't want to make a scene. I can't believe Edwin's dead. Oh, wait, he's alive. I didn't miss any notes on the song. <laughs> it's just they didn't like the music. <gasps> Dawn! Hey, are you okay? I mean, clearly not. Not okay. So. Guess I stink. In order. No, in order. you're good. You're really good. Then why did everyone boo me? Gifts. Um, well, I think they were just expecting something else. Your band was opening for mine, so everyone probably expected you'd play prog rock like us. Or they just expected we'd be good like you. No, Edwin, I think you're a natural guitarist. It's what you were born to do. Honestly, dude, one bad night on stage isn't the end of the world. I mean, my mom yells at me, like, every day to drop guitar and play a real instrument. And it makes me feel awful every time. Really? But everyone loves her music. She has her taste, we have ours, and the people in there have theirs. You know, when I look up at the sky, I feel like there's something bigger than us up there. Have you ever felt that way? Crap, sorry, I came out here to cheer you up, but I ended up talking about weird stuff. Hey, my band's actually short a guitarist tonight. Wanna fill in? I'm gonna go set up, but come in and join us on stage, okay? It'll be like old times.
so they'll actually let you go and play. That's sweet. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here, because I think we've gotten a chance to see a good portion of the game. Um, as a reminder, this uh, Starstruck prologue is just it just a little bit of what is ultimately going to become uh, Starstruck Hands of Time, which will be out TBA. There's no immediate release date. But this uh, prologue is available on Steam for free. So if you'd like to play this yourself, pick up where I left off and continue, um, it's available on Steam. So check it out. This is really good. <laughs> like, it's it, one, one of the things that indie games sometimes struggle with is, is finding what their voice is. Like exactly how, the tone that they're trying to do things. And the, the game has done a really good job um, of that. Like, it's real, it's real good. It's really good. Cool. I don't know when the, the full game will be out, um, but I look forward to that. Also, I'm being asked what's behind the building. But like that, to... This is a trash can. But is it all the trash cans? I got all the trash cans! You can't do this to me! I did it! I know I did it! I tried hard. I don't know if I did it. I, I thought I got them all. Son of a gun. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for more Stephen Plays. First 20.